Alright, so here we are. We're going to create a tally chart in Microsoft Word on Mac. So to create the table that you see here, go to Insert, then Table, and then you want to basically choose the size that you want your table to be. So I can't select this here actually because I'm not on the right place. I haven't don't, I don't have my cursor in the right place. So now here I want three columns for my three labels across the top. And then you just want as many rows as you have options, plus two because you have your top row and then your bottom row for a total. So here I've created another table and then you just want to resize it however you'd like, like so. And then you can put your labels in. So I have labeled my options, but you don't really need this. You can just leave this blank. And then frequency and tally. So frequency is the number. And then tally is your tallies, obviously. So I'm just labeling options one, two, three. And then I'm going to name this one total. So for frequency for the first one, just put 10. And then the second one, 8 and the third one 19 so as I just get my calculator out because I don't want to be wrong on YouTube find out how much this adds up to and it is 37 so now let's get to adding our tallies so go back to the home tab and very important first step make sure your font is Times New Roman that is essential so then you want to find this key on your keyboard that are displayed on screen and then you want to whilst holding shift press that key and you should get something like this And that is your tally. So then you just add those in sets of four, pretending that they are sets of five, because now what we're going to do is add the strike through. So you just select your group of tallies and then go up to the top there and click that strike through button. And you want to be careful not to select all of your tallies at once and do the strike through because you'll end up with the strike through through that space in the middle and you don't want that so you can just unstrike through that like so if you do that by accident but I find it's easier to just not do it in the first place so here just go through this just adding my other tallies making sure to change my font to Times New Roman every time because that is essential adding the strike throughs here and I'll just cut right back as soon as I'm done adding these tallies so we're back I'm just gonna fix this mistake I made here that should be four and you don't really need to put anything here because it's your total. So, just to recap, step one, create your table. So, go to insert, table, choose the number of columns and the number of rows you want, and then click. It should insert your table. Then, using one of the drag tools in the corner, resize your table as you please then you can add your headings so frequency tally options then you can write in your options so I just put in options one two and three and then a total then add in your numbers for your frequency next add in the tallies using the key shown ensuring you are typing in Times New Roman then 
add in strike throughs, making sure not to add a strike through in the spaces between your sets of four tallies. And that's it. You should have your tally chart. So, this has been Everett. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more tutorials. If you have any ideas for a tutorial that you would like me to make, please leave them in the comment section below and I am happy to make more tutorials. So I hope you enjoyed, I hope this helped you and have a great day.